For the first time in Syria's nearly five-year-long war, the UN Security Council has agreed upon a roadmap to peace. The unanimous vote in New York, though, came with a slight slip of the tongue from the U.S. Secretary of State, John Kerry. Will those in favor of the draft resolution contained uh, in document S-2015-996 please raise their hand? The resolution calls for a UN-monitored ceasefire and for talks to begin between Damascus and the rebels as early as next month. Uh, terrorist groups like Islamic State and al-Nusra excluded from the deal. It also envisions elections within 18 months to be held under the watchful eye of the UN. However, there was no mention of the most contentious issue, that of the future of President Assad. And it's after the US toned down its regime change rhetoric, although some differences re-emerged between Washington and Moscow following the UN vote. Decisions are going to have to start to be made about the devolution of some power and the creation of a unity entity this transitional body that is going to have full executive authority. Our colleagues are telling us, let's start a political process so that those who want to oust Assad can have some hope of achieving that result, and then we will be able to coordinate with you in our fight against terrorism. It's very sad that once again our common task, which is to defeat terrorism, is being held hostage to one individual. Ahead of the decisive vote in New York, some media outlets speculated that Washington had capitulated on its long-running demand for Assad to go and that Russia was now, quote, calling the shots. Well, despite the uh, contradictory rhetoric from Sergei Lavrov and John Kerry, the diplomats emerged from a hard day's work still able to smile. A writer and political analyst Daniel Patrick Welsh thinks the U.S. will now seek new ways to change power in Damascus. I don't think they're on the same page at all. I, I think that the U.S. goal is and always has been to take out uh, Bashar al-Assad and put in a regime that's more compliant. The, the fact that they now pretend to be cooperating, what it really means is that the outside forces have to stop trying to overthrow Assad, and now they have to do it by different means. And they will continue to, to do that within Syria. But this, the game has been called. They're using this as a battering ram to secure regime change. Now that that game is up, they have to back away from it.